Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, and glad you could attend. Yes, Movie Maniacs, it is I once again. And today, we're going to take a look at another web series turned film in the form of Dead Kansas. Now, this comes to us from writer and director Aaron Carter, who helped co-wrote this uh, story with Nicholas Dinacolo, where we get the story of Glenn and Emma. Glenn is Emma's dad, and these two are just trying to survive on their in their home, on their homeland, uh, on their farm during a zombie apocalypse, okay? The zombie apocalypse happened. There's rottens, as they're referred to, roaming the uh, earth, and we're seeing how they just try to survive. But what's more dangerous than rottens? Well, people, just like most zombie stories. And here we have a nasty group of individuals who want to kidnap uh, Emma for their own nefarious uh, purposes. And we see how Glenn protects Emma, and eventually how Emma helps take care of Glenn as they try to escape these very vile people, as well as not get bit by the rottens. Uh, Dead Kansas. Uh, I got to sent this link a while ago. Finally got around to watching it. Sorry it took so long. Uh, and, you know, and I enjoyed it as well. This is another micro-budget film. Started off, I guess, as a single episode, and then they evolved into a five-act episode. And I will say, the first three acts of this film are the strongest part of it. And the, the last two, it felt a little more cliche than I thought. Now, the performances of, of uh, Aaron Guerrero as Glenn, I really liked his performance. Uh, he really felt like he was a dad figure trying to protect Emma. And there's actually two actresses that played Emma in this. Uh, Aaron Miracle and Alexandria Lightfoot both played Emma, and, and that's just due to uh, certain production things that came up. Uh, but I liked both their performances. They, they both carried it through well, and even though it is a different actress, uh, this Usually, uh, you could tell that they, she did a very good job. They do a very good job of, of playing off each other, of carrying over that role from uh, Aaron to Alexandria. So I really uh, liked that, uh, that they carried that on, and the character felt the same, even though it was a different actress. Now, there's a really cool episode out of the five that's probably my favorite, and it involves circus folk. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and one of those circus folks, well, a few of them you might actually recognize. One of them was played by Erwin Key. He plays the giant. Go figure. We've seen him in House of a Thousand Corpses as well as many other independent productions. You've got Ben Wolf in here, who, if you've been watching American uh, American Horror Story Freak Show, he's in that as Meep. Here, he plays Squeak. Uh, and he's kind of the leader of this group of uh, circus folk who are held up at their circus trying to avoid the Rottens as well and who are friends with Glenn and Emma. Really loved the environment where they shot this circus scene at. Uh, you know, the, the, where the... Whatever location they picked, uh, it just really felt like an authentic kind of apocalyptic uh, circus uh, living environment. And I just, I really loved that. And the performances by everybody in this act was really solid. I uh, really felt well thought out. And visually, it was really cool. So, really liked episode two. And three was decent as well. And as I said, uh, you know, I liked the story and the originality and the idea of where it was going. I will say the last two acts, I think it fell off a little bit into more of a cliche than I had wanted, especially considering it started off so strong as original. So that, that took me a little bit aback as far as the story. But the locations, not only the circus location, but the location they run into later on is beautiful friggin' house that they found. I don't know who their location scout is, but really well done job there. Overall, Dead Kansas is a great micro-budget uh, production. It was a lot of fun, and while there are a number of things that uh, took me aback by it, one was kind of the fourth and fifth act, the way the story went, and there is also a part in here where Glenn takes an injury, a major injury, and I would have kind of liked to see a little more effects from that injury than what we got. Uh, uh, but let me tell you, I, it is a lot of fun if you uh, like the micro-budget films and like the whole uh, zombie genre and a slightly different take on it. So check out Dead Kansas. If you have seen Dead Kansas, uh, leave your comments down below. Really love to hear your thoughts on it and uh, let me know what you thought. And if you watch Dead Kansas, leave some feedback for them as well. Filmmakers always like constructive uh, feedback on their projects so that their next project can be even better. So check it out if you can. Hope to hear from you soon and thanks for watching and as always keep that ticket stub